So we're going to be going over the movement that we have in our workout today, or the one that we're ending it with. Uh, it's going to be a 10 minute AMRAP of burpee ring muscle ups. Right, so burpees, obviously going to get you tired, get you breathing, um, wear on that upper body just a little bit, and then ring muscle ups, uh, again, going to get you tired, get you breathing, and uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit stressful <coughs> on the upper body. Um, muscle endurance is definitely something you need if you're going to go high reps in this. Uh, so we're going to try to show you some of the finer points, how to clean up the movement, hopefully get you some more reps. Um, so, we'll go over that real quick. So you be doing some in the background. You guys good one? Just solid, solid. Okay, so, you want to get good at burpee ring muscle ups, you got to do them just like that. Alright, um, so the first thing we're going to go over is actually the first part of the movement. Um, the burpee. Uh, so you can do a strict burpee, right? Where hands are down, feet are jumping back, you're coming down, doing a full push up, strict, pressing up. Uh, that is going to be wasting a lot of upper body energy, especially when you're trying to get the press out in the muscle up. So what we're going to do is kind of like the classic CrossFit burpee. What that entails is basically just warming up, uh, trying to keep the core tight, but not a strict push up. So that extension of the low back, keeping the hips on the ground, will take some of that weight off of your upper body, so you can save it to go into you know deeper reps for the ring muscle up. Um, Breathing on the burpees, I would even warm, uh, you know, warm up with the burpees and try to get a good breathing pattern going, and then warm up the muscle ups. Same thing. Uh, hopefully you've been in and done a little bit of a warm up, 10 to 15 minutes, trying to get all those sticky spots out, and then also warming up the pull ups and dips before hitting the ring muscle ups or the burpees. Um, for the ring muscle up, uh, or the burpee into the ring muscle up, basically the burpee is just a backwards rotation, right? So if you're coming up out of the burpee and you're already coming into this position to jump, what you want to do is line yourself up to where you can actually jump and just catch the rings, go right into that muscle up. Okay, instead of wasting energy, what I see a lot of people do is come down into the burpee, jump, reset, get tension again, and then jump up and try to catch the rings. You're wasting energy that way, energy and time. Um, so B, let's see, a good one. Uh, just going down into the burpee, jumping right up, catching the rings. One key factor here, right into the rings, good. One key factor, when you're coming off the rings, you have to come down controlled and don't just throw the rings out, right? If you do that, you're gonna have to wait or try to time it right to where you jump back up, catch the rings, and then go back into the muscle up. Uh, that also kind of depends on your form on the muscle up. If you're not staying tight, if you're all over the place, the rings are gonna be all over the place also. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> You know, if you do that chicken wing, also one of these is going to be flying out to the side. You're going to have to jump up there, reach and grab it, on the other ones right here. Um, potential for injury there, a little bit higher. So stay controlled, stay tight. Um, if you're not that efficient at the muscle up, take your time with it. Really focus on the form. Um, for this workout, it's, it's, if you're efficient, then yes, push it. If you're not, then stay safe. Try to work your form. Uh, we have modifications on the board, too, if muscle ups aren't in your wheelhouse. Um, Coming off the rings, ah, on the muscle up, again, a lot of upper body here. When you're doing a muscle up, you definitely want to kick the dip. So many times you see people catch here, and it's high volume on muscle up for the workout, and they just uh, really try to just muscle it up, um, no pun intended, just muscle out of that dip instead of using that kick to save the upper body. You have, if, if that's how you do it, start kicking, and you'll start getting a lot more reps on the muscle ups. Um, so we see that. Yeah. Right here, nice efficient kick out the back, right? Coming down, you see the rings are nice and steady and not flopping all over the place. <laughs> um, uh, that's it. All right, so practice that. Um, we might do another video on common faults, uh, although we touched a little bit on those. Um, but yeah. Stay tuned. Uh, check out the YouTube channel, Jones for CrossFit. Um, check out the website, JonesforCrossFit.com. Just search it, you'll find it. And uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment, drop us an email, call us, text, whatever. We're here. All right, talk to y'all later. See you next time.